Hey guys, it's Darwin, and today we're talking about rain jackets. The Z-Pax Virtus versus the Enlightened Equipment Visp, the pros and cons of each, and which one, in my opinion, is the better jacket. Look, I'm back outside, back in my natural habitat, but honestly, I don't know for how much longer. I'm starting to lose light, and well, it's still December, it's starting to get pretty cold and windy, so we'll see how long this lasts. So rain jackets. There are a ton of different rain jackets out on the market and I personally have used a lot of them over the years. From a super cheap Columbia rain jacket to a Marmot Precept, two different versions of the Outdoor Helium, a kind of budget friendly for testing purposes, Frog Togs Extreme Light, and two jackets that I have used a lot over the past three years, which are the Z-Pax Virtus, which I got back in 2017, and the Enlightened Equipment Visp that I just picked up this year. And I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys about these two jackets. Um, why, after three years, did I switch to the Visp? Would I still recommend using the Virtus? Aren't they basically the same jacket? And which one do I think is overall better? So those are the questions that we're gonna answer in today's video. Now, before we jump into the video, keep in mind that these are my opinions from my experiences over the years of using different rain jackets on the trail. Your experience may vary. Also know that neither I or this video are sponsored by Enlightened Equipment or Z-Packs, and I bought both of these jackets at full price. All right, so the Z-Packs Virtus rain jacket. This was first introduced to me back in 2017, at the end of 2017. Um, I was looking for something that was a little bit lighter and performed a little bit better than my outdoor research helium that I used for years. So I picked one of these up. I ended up using it on the Penhody Trail, um, a through hike of the PCT. I used it on a bike tour of the Blue Ridge Parkway. I used it on the Arizona Trail. I used it in Scotland on the TGO Challenge, and then after about 4,000 miles of use on this thing, it finally wore out on me, it was kind of tore up, and I bought a second one. Um, I took that second one back out onto the AT this year. Sadly, I was only out there for eight days, and that's when I switched to the Enlightened Equipment Visp. So before we go into the pros and cons of the Z-Pax Virtus, Let's go over the specs. The Z-Pax Virtus rain jacket is made of a three layer material with a 7D material on the outside that's DWR treated and a tricot layer on the inside that helps with wicking and breathability. It's water resistant up to 20,000 milliliters of water and it has a vapor transfer rate of 56,000. Some of the features include pit zips, these nice elastic bungee cuffs, a fully adjustable hood with a little roll down storage clip, and a full chest pocket for either storing stuff or folding it in and storing it inside of itself. My Virtus is a men's large weighing in at 5.6 ounces and they retail for $259. Looks like I'm starting to lose my light, so let's take it back to the studio. All right, that's a little bit better, a little more lighting. So let's talk about the pros of the Z-Pax Virtus and what I've really liked about it over the last handful of years. I'd say the number one for me is the fact that it has a longer cut to it. Something that has drove me nuts for years of using different rain jackets and thermal jackets that a lot of outdoor companies make is they just don't seem long enough, whether it's in the torso or in the sleeves, and I'm a pretty tall guy with a long torso and long arms, so a lot of times when I'm hiking down the trail and hopping up and down, I got a pack on or maybe even a hip belt, the jackets constantly ride up on me. So I really, really appreciate that they decided to make it a longer cut in the back and in the sleeves. The next big pro for me about this jacket, and it's kind of a silly one, are actually the cuffs at the end of the sleeves. So instead of doing a Velcro closure on the end of the cuff, Z-Pax decided to put these little bungee closures that you can actually pull and tighten. So if there's a little bit of a draft or there's some water coming in, I can just with one hand grab that and tighten it. 
And I'd say the last big pro about this jacket for me was especially at the time, was its breathability. You know, Z-Packs put those pit zips in there and the material that they used in that tricot lining really made sure that this jacket breathed well. A lot of rain jackets on the market, after you get done hiking in them for a while, it kind of feels like a big sweaty trash bag that you're wearing, right? Um, you feel clammy and nasty, and a lot of times you end up getting more wet from your own sweat and condensation than you do the water on the outside. So I really, really loved how breathable this jacket was, and that's what really sold me on it when I took it out kind of for my first through hike on the Penhody Trail in 2018, as I got a lot of rain and I basically had to wear this thing all day, and it breathed great. All right, so what are the cons of this jacket? Well, I really only have one, and it's kind of complicated. Back in 2017, when I got my first Virtus, it performed phenomenally. Like I said, I took it out on the Penhody Trail, I got a ton of rain, and it took a really long time to wet out. Now look, all rain jackets wet out. Eventually, they will all soak through if you get enough rain. If you've ever hiked in the Appalachian Mountains, you'll know that it doesn't matter what rain jacket that you have, what layers that you have, you're going to get wet. And for the most part, I don't really use a rain jacket to stay dry. I more use it as a barrier, so if I'm hiking in the cold rain, something that I can keep my body temperature not completely chilled out, and more of a protective layer, really. So when I got my new jacket at the end of last year and I took it back out to the AT for kind of the first time in rain, it instantly wetted out. I'm talking like in the first three miles, I was soaking wet. Um, now, you know, you could chalk that up to a lot. Maybe it was a bad batch of material. Um, maybe the DWR coating on the outside wasn't applied well enough. Or honestly, what I think it is, is the stitching and the seam taping. Z-Pax has never been known for great stitching in their products. And this one has got some kind of funky stitch lines in there, and I think that's what it was. I think up here on the shoulders, it just leaked on me. It really soaked through fast, which was super disappointing to me. I used this jacket for three years and swore by it. I absolutely love this jacket because of its fit, because of its pit zips, its weight, everything. And then this one really let me down. So when I got back off of the AT, um, I replaced it as soon as possible. Enter the Enlightened Equipment Visp. In 2019, Enlightened Equipment released the Visp, which is a rain jacket that is super similar to the Z-Pax Virtus, but it never really perked my interest. Number one, when it came out, it didn't have pit zips. Second, I know somebody that got one of the early versions of it, and it just wasn't long enough. But at the beginning of 2020, they redesigned the jacket. Number one, they gave you the option to add pit zips or go with no pit zips. And number two, they put a drop tail on it, making it longer and giving it a longer cut in the torso. So when I got back from the AT, I bought one of these guys just to basically test it out and see if it would be a good replacement for my Virtus. And again, this is a pretty new jacket to me. I got it at the beginning of 2020, and so far I've taken it out on a lot of different random backpacking and bikepacking trips. It's been on a through hike of the Uinta to Highline Trail, on a through hike of the Colorado Trail, and so far it's been pretty damn good. Now, before we go into the pros and cons of this jacket, let's go over the specs. Just like the Virtus, it's made of a three-layer material. It has a 7D outer that's covered in a DWR coating, and on the inner, it has that tricot liner that helps with ventilation and breathability. Just like the Virtus, it's water-resistant up to 20,000 milliliters, but it has a moisture vapor transmission rate of 75,000 compared to the Virtus's 56,000, which means that this jacket is slightly more breathable 
and water resistant. You can order it with or without pit zips. It has a fully adjustable hood, both on the back and on the sides. It has a completely adjustable elastic hem and Velcro cuffs on the sleeves. Mine is a men's large, which is about the same size as my large Virtus. It weighs in at 5.5 ounces, and with the pit zips, it retails for $200. So, what are the pros of my Visp? Well, number one, ever since they have fixed that fit at the beginning of this year, I love the way it fits, and it's just as roomy in a medium as my z -Pax Large. The reason Enlightened Equipment makes their jackets bigger is so they work with each other in a layering system. If you guys have been watching my videos for the last couple years, you'll know my favorite thermal jacket to use on the trail is the Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex. Well, I wear a medium in my Torrid Apex, and this is a medium, and this is made purposely to fit over that apex, creating a better layering system. If you guys wanna find out more about my entire layering system, I'll put a video down below and up here that I made at the beginning of this year, but I really love that they made those jackets work together. It just makes my overall setup much more efficient. The next pro is along with that drop tail back that they added so it doesn't ride up, it also has an elastic hem. And that is something that I really missed with my Z-Pax Virtus. Some of the rain jackets that I've had in the past have had that elastic hem. So again, if I have some sort of a draft, if it's a real rainy cold day, and I wanna keep that warmth inside the jacket, I can just pull the hem, it sucks in, and keeps all of my warmth in, and keeps me a little more dry. It also helps in making sure that it doesn't ride up as much. And the last big pro for me about the Enlightened Equipment Visp is the fact that it seems to perform a little bit better than my Virtus. Again, I haven't taken it in a ton of rain. I haven't put a lot of miles on it like I have my Virtus, but so far, it's taking longer to wet out. It's breathing a little bit better. Now, I don't know if because it has that slightly higher uh, moisture vapor transfer rate or because of the craftsmanship. Um, Enlightened Equipment has insanely good stitching in their products. Their seam taping and seam sealing is really great. Just overall higher craftsmanship. But regardless of the reason, so far this jacket is just performing better in the elements. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? So um, hopefully I will be putting a lot more miles on this jacket in the future and a lot more rainy conditions. I have a couple awesome hikes coming up where I can really test how long it takes to wet out. But so far, it has been working awesome. So what are the cons of the Enlightened Equipment Visp? Well, number one, and you guys probably saw this coming, is those stupid Velcro cuffs. I hate Velcro on backpacking gear. Um, <laughs> not only is this stuff gonna get dirty and sandy because I hike a lot in the desert, but also when I'm wearing it, um, if I have them closed because it was a little bit drafty, I get to camp and I go to take my jacket off real fast and turn it inside out, I actually get stuck inside of this jacket. It's happened quite a handful of times. I'll see if I can find some B-roll real quick of me struggling to get this jacket off once those Velcro cuffs are done, but I just can't stand Velcro. I wish they would have done a little elastic thing like Z-Packs did with the Virtus. And then the other con that I really have about this jacket so far is the fact that it does not have that breast pocket, that little zipper breast pocket like my Virtus. Now for me, it's not because I wanna store it in itself, um, but I like having a little zipper pocket during my day on trail or at camp, because every once in a while I like to just kinda stuff a little snack in there or put my cell phone in there. Or when I'm in a town, say doing town chores and doing laundry, and I'm wearing my jacket because I'm washing my shirt, I like to put my wallet in there and all of my things that I need for my town chores. So I kinda wish they would've put some sort of pocket somewhere. I'm a pocket guy, I like pockets on jackets, so I wish this had that. And aside from that, the jacket has been performing great overall, and I hope to put a lot more miles on it coming up in the not too distant future.
So, in conclusion, are they the same jacket? No, not really. They are very similar. They both have that 7D outer. They both have that tricot liner, but that middle membrane um, is definitely different, and it makes these jackets perform differently. Another thing that makes them different is those little features, right? This has that elastic hem. This doesn't. This is a little bit longer of a fit. This is a little shorter of a fit. This has that breast pocket for storage and carrying around extra items when you're in town. This lacks that. So I think depending on who you are and kind of what you're looking for in a jacket, they definitely are different jackets with different features. As far as I'm concerned, they definitely perform differently. So would I still suggest buying the Virtus now that I'm using the Visp? Yeah, I guess so. Again, if you are maybe a taller hiker and you have a longer torso, um, if you need that breast pocket, um, if you really hate uh, the, the Velcro cuffs like me, maybe this is the better jacket for you. But for me, so far, it has been the Visp. So to answer the question, which one do I like better? Which one would I suggest to myself getting? It would definitely be the Enlightened Equipment Visp. I just overall think it performs better. Sure, I hate the Velcro cuffs. Yeah, I wish it had the, the little zipper pocket and it could use to be just a little bit longer, but the performance of this jacket has overall been better than my Virtus. So for me, this is the better jacket. So there you go, guys. Those are my experiences and my opinions with using both of those jackets and why I've decided to go with the Visp over the Virtus. So hopefully if you're trying to decide uh, which jacket to get, if you're thinking about getting your first ultralight cottage company rain jacket, hopefully the information in this video will give you a little bit of an insight on my experiences and help you make your own decision. So what rain jacket would you get? Which one are you thinking about getting? Or what rain jacket is your favorite that you're currently using on the trail that performs awesome, keeps you dry, breathes well, maybe doesn't have Velcro cuffs? Leave me something down below and let us know your thoughts. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and as always guys, thanks for watching.